Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing how to replace the needle valve and seat in the carburetor of your lawn tractor with a brakes and Stratton engine. Now I have taken the carburetor off to make this video today, but if you do want to see me taking it off of a lawn tractor and reinstalling it, there is a link under the video today that takes you to a previous video that I made of me removing and reinstalling a brand new carburetor on the same machine. Like the one you'll see on these lawn tractors with the Briggs and Stratton engine. And here's the carburetor on this engine. So basically today it's the same carburetor that I'll be showing you how to remove the needle valve and the seat and reinstall a new one. Usually when the needle and seat fail, your engine oil is going to get filled up with gas. Your engine is going to be flooded all the time. Gas will literally leak on the floor in some cases. And in a lot of cases, the engine actually gets hydrolocked, meaning there's too much oil and gas in the cylinder. So those will be the common symptoms to show you that you do need to replace the needle and seat. And here's an example here. When you check the oil, you're going to see that the level will be very high. Because there's fuel in the oil, it's very hard to see that it is overfilled. And just to show you here, I am draining this engine and it's basically fuel that's going to be coming out instead of oil. Normally oil would not be this thin and it does smell like fuel. So this is a classic symptom of your needle and valve seat needing to be replaced. Now the tools you're going to need today is a quarter inch tap. Any oil, preferably some cutting oil like this. What you're going to have to do to get started is remove the solenoid at the bottom of the carburetor. What I've done is grind it down a half inch wrench. It's going to fit perfectly in here and then you can remove it. Now the bowl is going to come out. You're going to want to remove the float by removing the pin. Flip it over and the needle valve will come off with it. And here it is. And I've put a carb here inside the vise. This is an older carb that's scrapped. So basically if you want to practice, get yourself an older carb that is not repairable. Try out first on an old carb you don't care about. If you mess it up then it's not a big deal. And once you have the float off, you're going to see the needle valve seat here. It's a pressed in seat over here and I often get asked how do you remove it and reinstall it. What I do is I use a quarter inch tap. I put a bit of cutting oil on the seat itself. If you don't have cutting oil you can use any oil. And basically you want to make some threads inside the seat. It's going to be easy to make threads in here because it's only brass. You want to make sure you do it nice and straight. Now you don't have to go too deep, you're going to feel some resistance quite soon. So now I'm going to stop, undo it. And I like to go back down and back up just to make the threads nicer. Now through this connector over here, it's good to blow some air because it's going to shoot out all the shards. And when you do this, make sure to wear safety glasses. I'm just going to blow some air in here. Now what I've done is grind it down the socket. This is a 3 8 socket. I made the walls a lot thinner as you can see. This is so the socket can fit right in here and act as a spacer. Now what you're going to need is a quarter inch bolt, one inch long and a small washer. And now what I do is I insert the bolt and it's going to screw right into the seat and it's going to act as a puller as I tighten up the bolt. And I'm going to use a 7 16 wrench, tighten up slowly it's getting easier. I can feel that the seat's coming up. And here's the seat. It came off quite easily. And this one is unscrewing itself quite easily as well. Sometimes you need pliers to do this. And now you can see where the seat was. There's a nice big hole for that new seat to go in there. Now this carb here was garbage. So I'm going to throw it out. I just kept it for educational purposes. And I'll just proceed to remove the seat on this carburetor here as well. Now when you remove the carburetor from your lawn tractor, you're going to see the small jet here. It is important to remove it. Now you can use a flat screwdriver to remove this or if you have Briggs part number 19062. It is a carburetor screwdriver made especially to remove jets. And now I'll just repeat the process, put some oil and make the threads with a quarter inch tap. Now I'm going to insert my socket the one inch quarter inch bolt and I can feel that the seats coming up 
Just keep tightening until it gets looser. If your seat is stuck tight on the bolt, just use pliers. And there you go, the seat is out. Now the next clip here, I'm going to show you how to remove the seat by using a longer bolt, a nut and a washer. I still have the socket here over the seat. Just screw in the bolt. You might find it easier with a longer bolt because you're not going to have to struggle with the bolt being too short. And I'm just going to tighten up the nut here. If the bolt turns, just hold it with another wrench. In this case, it's not turning. And now the seat is out. Now what you need to do is locate the proper needle valve and seat for your specific carburetor. And if you're going to do this job, I highly recommend that you replace the needle valve as well, not just the seat. For my specific carburetor, the part number is 690577. And here's what it looks like. I highly recommend that you use Briggs OEM parts when you do this. And here's the needle valve for this carburetor. And it's part number 231855S. And I do recommend that you use an OEM needle valve for this repair. If you need these parts, there are links under today's video to where you can purchase them directly online and have them shipped to your house. The first part I'm going to put back in is the seat. And to reinstall the seat, I usually use Toro part number 815990. It fits nicely in the seat like this, then you can hit it with a hammer and just press it in. Now don't worry if you don't have this tool, you can just use a small screw or bolt. Bolt on a locking nut on it, and this will work just as well. Now you want to grab your seat, insert it in this position. It's going to go slightly down in the hole. I'm going to use my homemade tool today just to show you guys that it does work. I do know that most people watching, that's all they're going to have to do this. And I'm going to gently tap it down. And you want to make sure you don't tap it down too hard. In this case here, I'm just going to tap it just a bit more. And this is approximately the height that you want the seat to stick up from the carb. I have this other carburetor here and I can compare it to the one I just installed. And now what you want to do is reinstall the needle valve and the float. Just stick the needle valve in the float like this. Line it up over the seat. And now you want to install the pin. And don't forget to reinstall the small jet. Before you reinstall the bowl, you want to make sure that the o-ring here is in good condition. Now reinstall the bowl, put on the solenoid, and now you want to retighten up the solenoid with your homemade wrench. That's all there is to replacing the needle valve and seat in this carburetor. Again, if you have symptoms of flooding on your lawn tractor, this may be the culprit. For just over $20, you can replace these parts and have your tractor running good again. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe, please share my videos and rate them and have yourselves a great day.